Okay, that works. It's been a while. I don't even know if this thing's straight. Might have to fix it on my computer, but I haven't recorded a horizontal video in a really long time. I think it's been over a year at this point, or close enough. <laughs> So if you're new here, hi, uh, I'm Curtis Oliveira and I am a full-time real estate photographer. I've been a real estate photographer for coming on three years, I think, something like that. Itchy nose. For the past two and a half years, I have been working with somebody uh, at their company and just until pretty recently, I have officially launched on my own. Currently still under Curtis Oliveira Photography. Might be changing, not too sure yet. Just gonna run with it for now and see where I go. Some of you guys are pretty new to the channel, which don't get me wrong, doesn't have much on it, but you're here from the shorts that I've made. I actually have gained over 50 subscribers just from you guys watching my shorts and being interested in that photography, sort of educational content, following me on a day-to-day, -day, seeing those, uh, do you hear this dog? Uh, seeing those videos where I kind of have that POV cam of me like taking photos around houses and stuff like that. So that's kind of the route that I want to go down. But yeah, some of you guys who are new here, uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, welcome to the photography channel where I post a video once a year. That video that I made, I was actually like pretty happy with it. Uh, for it being my first video, I've watched it back a few times and yeah, I was just kind of happy that I actually made it and I thought some of the b-roll was okay. You know, I was kayaking in the middle of a lake, which is just, God, I love doing that. And uh, yeah, I didn't really follow up with it and I don't really have a reason for that. I just simply didn't. Like I definitely had the time. I just didn't do it. No other, no other reason behind that. I actually did try making a what's in my camera bag video, but that didn't really go very well. When I finished editing it, I looked at my timeline and it was over 15 minutes long. And I just thought that the content was not great. Yeah, not good. I tried watching it back and I literally made it through like a minute and a half. And I thought that it was awful. It's actually a good thing I didn't make that video because everything in my camera bag has kind of changed literally within the last like five days. Life kind of comes at you quick, so kind of just roll with the punches and you just have to seize the opportunity once it comes. That's kind of what's been happening with me. But I will be trying to update that video and posting it hopefully less than 12 months from now. So what am I doing making a YouTube video once again, even though I made one 12 months ago and never followed up with it? Well. I'm just gonna try again, and I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna push myself to at least make two videos a month. That is my target, that is my goal. I wanna at least make two videos a month. Some of these videos will be educational and more targeted towards beginners and entry-level photographers who might not fully understand a camera, what all the parts are, Putting a camera in manual mode is scary and I really want to make that a more enjoyable experience for you guys. Some of the videos will be a day-to-day -day life in terms of being a real estate photographer, coming up with me to shoots, what happens when I get home and I'm editing, and then uh, what happens after that part of the delivery process to my clients. And then kind of just like everything in between. Don't really know. Still trying to get the hang of this thing. But yeah, I just want to try and try and push myself out of sight of that little comfort zone, comfort zone, and just try to make more content. I'm really trying to build up that brand and uh, yeah, just trying to get my name out there. Uh, but yeah, I don't really uh, know what else to say. I'm going to try to be making a entry level uh, photography little playlist. So what happens when you put your camera in manual mode? and then explaining aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and how to make all your images more creative and making sure that you have full control over the images that come out. That's what's so great about manual mode. And that's what's so great about photography is that you create what you want. It's one of my favorite parts about it. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I'm just gonna end it here. I didn't want this one to be, uh, to be too long. Just kind of wanted to uh, reintroduce myself here. Uh, yeah, being a photographer, just kind of wanted to get posting again. So stay tuned for more. This is the first one of the month, so need to at least make one more. Really gonna push myself to do it. So yeah, just stay tuned for more.
I'll talk to you guys on the next one. See ya.